Okay, quick unboxing video. Vortex Razor HD AMG. This is the 6x24x50. Um, I've opted to take the scope in moles. I'm an on MOA, simply I find that easier. Um, it's got the new EBR7 MRAD radical, which is pretty sick. Um, should come in handy for PRS type shooting. Um, I thought I'd put together this video purely because there's um, these scopes are very few, few and far between. Uh, it's like a unicorn. And um, while I was waiting for my one, um, I couldn't find any content on YouTube uh, about the scope. So, hence my short little video. So, I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to ask any questions um, and I'll try my best to answer them. Right, let's start um, unboxing. And I've briefly gone, gone through the contents. Uh, first of all, super nice, um, nice box. I don't know if, if the camera picks up the lighting um, on the box. Yeah, very nice by Vortex as always. Um, inside, we have this little flippy cover thing. The all important um, manual that no one ever reads. Um, I might just go through the reticle tensions and stuff. Um, the scope is in first focal plane um, for the type of shooting we do. Um, this little foam sort of cover pad to protect it. The scope has come halfway around the world to South Africa. Super nice sticker. That might just go go up there. Um, what's this? Uh, yeah, recommend torquing it down. Uh, let me read that. AA Optics, thank you very much to Alan for sorting me out with the scope. I really appreciate it. Then we have another um, uh, turret explanation. Uh, sort of manual. Um, these do have the new M lock turrets on. Well, I don't know if they knew. Um, yeah, it goes to bore sighting, better that. So we'll check that. Right, so let's start with the most important thing, which is the scope. And just handling this off the bat, it is so light. Wow. Um, the reticle. I'll try and show you guys the reticle just now. Um, we have illumination in this side. This pops out. We have 11 brightness settings with uh, on and off in between. Excuse me, 10 brightness settings with on and off in between. Um, and we can just pop that back in. Um, we have the parallax on the side here, which is pretty standard. Um, I'll just leave that back at 100. We have a super nice um, mechanical zero stop, unlike the, the shim style systems in the previous. Um, well, I had a Viper PST before this, um, the first generation one. Um, the turrets are locking and they pop in and out, very nice um, adjustments and you hit a hard mechanical zero stop um, 0 0.5 moles beyond your, your zero. I suppose the only gripe with this optic um, is the lack of a second revolution um, indicator if you're shooting um, long range type stuff. Uh, that shouldn't really be a problem. Um, I'm planning to put this on my Ruger Precision Rifle which has a 20 inch or 20 MOO rail on it. So I should be good to go for our style of shooting, um, which is super cool. Um, adjust, do your dial, pop the turret back down. Uh, let's say you're shooting the whole day or, or whatever at the sitting. You don't have to worry about it being adjusted while your rifle's on the sling. Let's pop that back in. Same type of um, windage adjustments. Um, we have no zero stop here, obviously that pops back inside. Cool, so let's put this guy back. Um, we have a nice Vortex sunshade. Uh, it's pretty standard. I plan on running this the majority of the time um, purely because uh, it minimizes my mirage a little bit. Um, just the layout of this is, is quite phenomenal, uh, the way they've done this up. Um, we have a little adjustment tool in there, which is cool. Uh, that'll go in the toolbox. Uh, a little lens cloth, they've even given it its own little packaging, which is quite a nice touch. Um, this will be a battery um, to run the scope. Obviously, it's an illuminated reticle. Um, and then one of my personal favorites with this with this scope um, is the, the lens caps that go on and flip open. Let's try and put them on and see um, what they're like. So this guy, uh, yeah, we'll go over over here and it's quite a tight fit um, there we go and then just pop that off and it sort of tucks in 
next to the scope, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a very nice fit there. That's not gonna get twisted up um, on your gear or anything while you're carrying it, which which I quite like. Um, and it's, it's quite tight in there. Um, let me see if I can try and show you guys the reticle. So let's park this. Um, obviously, six to twenty-four um, adjustment is here, um, and then we have a locking um, sort of eye focus, which is pretty cool. Which is done with this little ring on the back here, which this is new from Vortex, I believe. Um, so this gives you option to, to fine tune your focus here and then you lock that back down and it's not going anywhere which is pretty cool okay so let's try and see if we can if we can look through this reticle together so I couldn't quite get the reticle to focus like I wanted to anyway here's a picture of what it actually looks like hope you guys enjoyed the video ask me if you have any questions on the AMG and I'll do my best to answer them